For because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's what we're seeing on the news, day in and day out. Come on. I will call together all the king of the earth. But y'all have to see what you see happening in Syria and Iraq is what we're reading here. Behold, saith God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. Come on. To reverence me. Uh-huh. Which are from the rising of the sun. Go ahead. From the south, from the east, and Libanus. Libanus is Lebanon. To turn themselves one against another. So God's plan, his program, is to have these nations fight each other. Let's say it again. God's plan is to have these nations fight each other. Read. And repay the things. Listen good to this. And repay the things. That they have done to them. Write this down. The them is the Israelites. Everything that you see in the news is a, a direct judgment for what the nations did to the blacks and the Latinos and the Native American Indians. We are the Israelites. And it's going to say it crystal clear. Read. Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. So what you see happen to Trayvon Martin, what you saw happen to Michael Brown, Kajim Powell, the most I said, I'm not, I'm not sleep on none of that. I see all the injustice. We're from Haiti, right? All places. So what we are here, we are here to teach the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Or what happened to the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Blacks, and the Native Americans. You say you're from Haiti, right? I'm also from the same island, Haiti. I'm from the same island. Bring it out. Guess what? We are here to teach you so-called Blacks who you are according to the Bible. Right, who you right. Tell the truth. Hey, brother, where you going? You all right? You good? Where you crying for? What are you crying about? Come here, come here, what are you crying about? What you crying about, sir? <laughs> hey, so give us John 8.32. This is what's going on with our people. The affliction that's going on with our people and how and why they have the lower state. So guess what? This truth of the Bible must come out. That's the right. truth of what God really said to his people and how destroyed they are, they must come out. Give me your head to read. Bring it up. This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth, read. And the truth Set shall make you free. And the truth shall set you free. Uh -huh. Hey, brother, stay right here. Don't go anywhere. Give me Isaiah 1. Bring it out. Let's find out what truth, according to the Bible, that happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's the people that you're calling Negroes, the people that you're calling nothing in your society. These are the children of God. Right. But you don't know that because they're not teaching you that in the Bible. And that's why we out here read. No. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Uh -huh. The ox knoweth his owner. This is God doing a comparison between the Israelites and a uh, dumb animal, read. Really? And the ass his master's crib. So, the Bible said the ass, which is a dumb animal, the know his owner, read. Really? And the ass his master's crib. The ass with his donkey know his master's crib. So the ass and the donkey know where to go if they're hungry. They know where to go if they if they got lost. They know how to get back home. If you take an ass or a donkey, you drop it from the end of the of the city right there, they know exactly where to go to find food. Because they know who their masters are. Right. Yes, right, we. But Israel, who? But Israel. But Israel, the Israelite, the children of God, you so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native American, does not what? Right. Does not know. Does not what? American, you are God chosen people. Right. If you are calling yourself Native American, you are God chosen people. Right. And you must know why the land, your land, your family was taken away from you, why you were destroyed. Read. But Israel, who? But Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. The real Israelites, the true children of God, who are the so called black American, guess what? They don't know who they are. They don't know who their masters are. They're thinking the so-called white man is their masters. They're thinking the so-called Arab man is their masters. No, God is your father. That's who you are. And you said, brother, you came from Haiti, right? What's going on in the land of Haiti right now? 
What is going on in Haiti right now? My family said to some of us here, all the people said it was cut off. Please, please do not preach, please. This is for what? The master of Prince of Peace. He no word. Give me a woman S16. Bring it out. This is, this. what we're teaching, we're teaching love according to the Bible. Hold on for a second, wait, hold on for a second, but read. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. The Spirit of God will bear witness with who the children of God is. You so-called black to Spanish and Native American, you're going to know. When this truth come out, you're going to know the Bible is talking about you. The Bible was not given to every nation on this earth. The Bible is not a religious book. The Bible was given to the Israelites. It was written for the Israelites by the Israelites. That's why when you were give me give me numbers one and one. 28 and 1. Give me numbers 28 and 1. Because I said the Bible was written to the Israelites. And that's you so called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Let's see if, if I'm lying. If I'm making this up. You got it? Numbers chapter 1 and verse 1. Number chapter 28 and verse 1. Yeah. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, uh -huh. Command the children of Israel. Uh -huh. Who? The children of Israel. Whenever you start reading the Bible, it's talking about the children of Israel. Hey, you, hey, you brothers are sitting right here. Hey, you brothers are sitting right here. You Native, you Native American, right? Native American. Your land of this country was taken away from your people. Is that a prophecy in the Bible? This is a prophecy in the Bible. Give me 228 and 15. What you're going to find out, the reason why all this thing is all the storm is going on with our people is because what? Because we are being destroyed as a people. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said it's going to happen if you will not listen to the voice of the Lord your God. Just like we are here giving you the, Lord, the, the word of God and many of us will not listen. Many of us will get into our own emotion. Guess what? It's time for you to humble down to what God is saying. That's, right. That's why we got destroyed in the first place. Right. Of not listening, not hearkening. We get it done. To observe, to do all these commandments uh -huh. and the statutes uh -huh. which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses that God is talking to Deuteronomy 28 gonna come over you and overtake you. Guess what? The Native American was the owner of this land. They, they own this land. But guess what happened? Give me to verse 16. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. It says curse you shall be in the city, and curse you shall be in the field. Hey brother, how you doing? Where you from, buddy? Where you from? California. Where, what's your, where, you, where your father from? Aztecs, right? So, have you seen that sign before? You see that sign before? So, at the bottom, you see it says Mexican. Right? Are you Mexican? So, at the bottom, it says Mexican. Oh, right, from the tribe of Issachar in the Bible. So, when you read the Bible, it's talking about to the children of Israel. The, na the Native American. Uh, the, the Native American are God trusting people. If you look down there, they are the tribe of God. The tribe of God in the Bible. And guess what? It's about the time you return to the most high God. So, if I may ask you, where did you get the name uh, Mexi Mexican from? Or oh, the language the language you're just speaking right now, where did you get it from? No, the, the Spanish name, the language that you're speaking right now, where did you get it from? Europeans, right? Conquistadors. When they come to Mexi Mexico, they guess what? They enslave and kill all the children and women. And give you what? Uh, Catholicism. That's what they give you. Bring it on, right? right? So guess what? This those religion was never given to you by God. Right. God never told you to go and worship a cross. God never told you to go and worship a white Jesus. Yeah. According to the Bible, God is not a religion. you're right. God is not a religion. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. God is not a religion. So, like I was saying, brother, you don't understand. You're saying in Haiti, your, your family's head was cut off, right? To some room you said, Let's go, let's go, Paul Kuro. Paul Kuro, tell them bien. 
Mais nous, en Haïti, ça ne passe en Haïti comme ça. Qui ça qui passe en Haïti comme ça Pour que ça soit là en Amérique, vous avez tout souffert ça avant. Ça ne parle pas de mes messieurs qui ne sont pas dans la religion. La religion n'est pas dans la Bible. Et ça m'a dit, la religion n'est pas dans la Bible. Exactement. So, so, qui est-ce qui te parle de la religion dans l'esclavage Mon Mon blanc qui parle de la religion dans l'esclavage. Et mais c'est ça m'a dit, frère. C'est ça m'a dit. Je vais vous dire la Bible. Et ça m'a dit. Je vais vous dire, give me Psalms 83. Hold on, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna show you my mutual in the Bible. I'm gonna show you something in the Bible. Read. Psalm chapter 83, verse uh, 2. Behold, thine enemies. What you on qui sont pas connus et ça. Qui est bon Dieu qui est le mis dans la Bible. Faut comprendre ça, Bible dire. Mais posez ça, on t'en est Possession, possession, on ne sait pas la dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en train de me dire. Je ne sais pas si je suis en qui est ce monde qui est ce monde en Haïti qui a quitté le bon Dieu Bayou? How many people in Haiti are skipping God's law? C'est pas tout le monde qui même ça, mais bon. Et mais ça m'a tout fait, nous même. Nous avons fait même nous y est. Nous comprenons ça, nous sommes tous les seuls sauveurs. Exactement. Ok. So give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Bring it out. Bring it out. What you gotta understand? We are the people of God. We are supposed to keep God's laws. This is what the Bible says. We. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? The so-called Haitian, the people that they're calling Haitian and Haiti, are the children of Israel, the Levites of the Bible. We. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in the front. Parce que la Bible a dit pour nous dire ça. Oui. The Bible tell us to say so. But, but listen, listen, listen. Brother, brother, listen. I, I know, I know what you're saying. You comprends ça? Comment ça dit là? Comment ça fait ce que Okay. The, the other nations know that. The other nations know that. The people. Hey, pick, pick the signs up. Look, that's the, you say in Haiti, you say in Haiti that beat us, that beat us in slavery, right? No, they do it. They do it. No, that, that image right there, image of the beast. Put that up. They do it in the name of the They did it in the name of white Jesus. They beat the slave in Haiti in the name of white Jesus. That's what I'm telling you. We're talking to the choir of you. Read that again. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Uh, and now Israel, uh, what does the Lord our God require of thee? Qui ça mon Dieu m'a pour faire? Qui ça mon Dieu m'a pour faire? Où tu conseilles la parole? You said, you know exactly what we're talking about. What did God require of you, children of Israel? Bring it out! What did God require of you? It's not just to raise your hand, it's to keep God's laws. That's, That's why we have to fight them. That's why Haiti is destroyed right now. That's why every nation is in Haiti connecting every resource to Haiti. Because you fail to adhere to God's word. But to fear the Lord thy God. But I see a soul when you get that tear pill. You probably tell me that people are dead. Ça prend et puis ça nous nous répète tout le monde ça oui et puis ça il va tenir on a un esclavage et puis ça des salines des coups pour nous et puis ça toucher des coups pour nous pour les tirer nous on va vous dire ça y est mais qu'on ne va pas faire une erreur qui soit faite ou un coup qui a fait la guerre par le temps de sa vie active vous le dites mais to fear the Lord thy God to walk in all His ways and to love Him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart The Bible says you must serve God. How do you serve God? How do you fear God? How do you love God? All these answers are found in the Bible. That's right. All these answers are in the Bible. Teacher, give me John 15 and 10. Bring it out, huh? 
we get others who should find out how do you love God according to the Bible? It's one thing that you say, because what you told me earlier, you said your father used to honor Ben and Haiti. And they're saying about God. That's all good. But what God are you singing to? Are you singing to the son? Are you singing to the to the white Jesus that put that image up again? Are you singing to this man that they give you as God? Are you singing to the black Messiah? Yep. Are you singing to God Himself? Bring it out! It's your girl going to God Himself. Read. John chapter 15 and verse 10. Uh. If you behind it. Right. The brother was crying because what? Because the oppression that's going to Haiti right now. Who caused the, the nation of Haiti, what you call Haiti, the Levites, according to the Bible, destroyed as they are right now? Bring it up. The so-called white man. Teach, officer. And what? In 1915, in 1915, what did they do? They're going to Haiti and store all the gold. Bring it out. That's why you have a, 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 a man that have a, a full, full of gold. Where right. did they get the gold from? Where did you get your gold from? Did you get it by um, going to by yourself and go to the soil and, and extract it? No. You had slaves. You have native slaves. Right. That's all you do. Walk all around the earth and destroy nations. Right. And that's why we have to be out here. We have to come out here to show you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans what the Bible's talking about. That's, right. that's the reason we're here. The issue is that what? We don't know the difference between sin and righteousness. We think because I say I love God, because I go to this line, that's this church, I have a relationship with God. Teach! Give me sin. Well, uh, hey, hey, brother. Brother, we just said I saw America. Where you from? You from Africa, what part of Africa? Come back here and talk to us, bro. We are here just for you. To show you how special you are to the most high God. How great of a nation that you are. You're not black. You're not Hispanic. You're not Native American. You are God chosen people, the true children of Israel. Yes, man. The Jews of the Bible. It's time you wake up. Bring it out. Read. First John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin, transgressive also the law. According to the Bible, anyone who, who, who commits sin, if you say somebody's in sin, what you're saying is the that person is breaking God's law. Right. For what? For sin is the transgression of the law. Because sin is when you break God's laws. Your pastors are teaching you what sin is according to the Bible. We don't want to pass that sin according to the Bible. A grown man without a beard that's shaving it purposely, that's sin according to the Bible. But you have not learned that. You think going to church and giving your tithe, offering money, that's what that's what what church this is. Give me uh Deuteronomy 625. In, in, Ma in Matthew, when the angel told Joseph to go and to, to rent, flee into Israel, right? Right, exactly. When he, he went down Israel, to Ethiopia, went this, to this, Lake this, Tana. Listen, when he fled into Israel, because the the uh, wom the woman, uh, Arad, was trying to kill him. Right, that's right. So when he fled there, God gave what? God, God gave the angel the message to tell him come out of Egypt. That's and that's right. also going into the children of Israel because they were slaves in Egypt. Bring it out! The Israelites are the true sons of God. That's, that's right. right. That's who they are. It's not it's in order right now, sir. So, and for your question, yes, God did call his son out of Egypt. Right. Just like right now, God is calling you so-called black, his place in Native American, out of Egypt. Yes. Thank you very much. Behind me, behind me. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Oh, and, I, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, uh -huh. Come out of her, my people. Say what? Come out of her, my people. God have a people on this earth. And that's you, so, that's you, Israel.
equal rights. That's you, black, Hispanic, and Native American. You all got choice of people. God said, what right to the Israelite, to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, do right. Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sin. Because all the sins that America has committed, God tell you to come out of her. Come out of America. So you don't partake in their sins. They go from countries to countries, stealing land, killing people, robbing, and enslaving people. Right. How did America get this land? By stealing it. Give me my girl on one. Bring it out, man. Give me my girl one. Because did you not know the prophet spoke about these things? Did you not know that God only prophesied what the so-called white man was going to do on this earth? Let's see the blessing of the of, of, of the people you call white people. Bring it out. Children of Esau, according to the Bible. What? There's nothing about them that's white. The paper that you have, the, the color white is on that side right there. They're all different shade of red, just like the Bible described them. What? Just like God made them. But for some reason they're calling themselves white. What is so white about you? There's nothing pure about you. Because all you do, your nation of people rob and steal. That's all you do. Right. What's the resume of the so-called white man on this earth? Teach! What's the resume? What good have they done on this earth? Because they give you a job? You are slaving in this land. Right. You are still serving them. Bring it out. Read that. Bring it out. Genesis chapter 27 and verse 39. Bring it out. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, huh. Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth. God says, Esau's dwelling should be the, uh, the fat of the earth. All the best part of this earth that's going to be Esau's blessing, right? Be. And of the dew of heaven from above. Uh -huh. And by thy sword. By the right sword. What's the sword that the so-called white men used today to get that land that they had? How did they get America? Kill. By killing. Right. By stealing. Right. By murdering the land of America that's on this land. Oh. And emancipation. That's how they got the land. By what? Read it again. And by thy sword oh. shalt thou live. By the sword they leave. That's how they, they end up having a, a base in every nation on this earth. By war. By war. By war. Put it on, what man. nation is doing that today? Jeez. What nation is going from land to land and stealing the land? Who's doing it? Is the Arab doing it? No. Nope. The people that you call the terrorists of the earth? Bring are they up. doing it? Are they in America? Did they kill the, the, the Native Americans? No, they're, 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 they're not. Bring it out. The so-called white men did that. Bro. The Bible says they're going to live by the sword. And that's how they've been living ever since. Give me blue to an end. Bring it out. See if we still, because all people walking around, I just like this, they're free in this land. You walking around like because you have a job, you think you're free in this land. You Native American, hey brother, how you doing, bro? Come here for a second. Come here, come here, come here. You recording us, come here for a second, bro. We're trying to hear from you. That's the problem with your people. They like the message, but guess what? They don't want to do it. What? Read. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Guess what? The Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are still slaves in this land. They've never set you free. You're still serving them. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Still not serving these people. Bring it We're still on, serving them. And God prophesied about that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it Therefore, on. shall thou serve thy enemies. God said, Therefore, you're going to serve your enemies. The same people who enslaved you, they've never been your friend. Right. Who was the last time the nation who enslaved the so called blacks, Hispanic Americans, been friends to them? Give me the history. When they hit you that they've been good to you, they make sure you stay in the ghetto. Now in the 1960s, we was marching for, marching for rights. We're still doing it till today. Right. When, have, when have they ever been good to you? That's why God said you still serve them. Because they are your enemies. That's what the Bible says. That's oh. right. Give me a uh, start for uh, week 45. Chapter 28 and verse. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Uh. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, uh. which the Lord shall send against thee. Guess what? The most high God sent our enemy against us. Uh. Why? Because if you went up, we didn't keep God's laws. Uh. Uh, uh, the best in every city. And that's where we are today. We're serving our enemies, right, we? Which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. We're going to serve them what? In nakedness, which is clothing, food, water, and want of all things. You look at me like you have a question, so what is the question? Fourteen six. Bring it out, huh? Listen to the, 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 oh, the, the read it, read it. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. Bring it out. I saw another angel flying in the midst of heaven, huh. having that everlasting gospel to preach huh. unto them that dwell on the earth, huh. and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. Huh. Say, that's it. So the gospel is preached to every nation and people and kindred and tongues, right? Let's see what the Bible says. Jump to verse 1. Verse, Revelation chapter 14 and verse 1. Read it out. And I looked and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with, it, and with him, a hundred and forty and four thousand. And it was name written huh. in their foreheads. Read. Read from heaven, say uh, the voice of many waters, and as the voice of the great thunder, uh, and I heard the voice of the harpers harping with their harps, and they sung as it was new song before the throne, uh, and before the four beasts, and the elders, and no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand, uh, which were redeemed from the earth. So, the song is being sang, only the 144,000 which were redeemed on this earth could sing it, right? That's what the Bible just says. Now, my question to you, who are the, the 144,000? Bring it up! Speak up, I can hear you now. I want to hear what you're saying. Just stay where you are. So the 144,000 with a group are the endless amount of people that you see on the sea of glass. If you, if you keep on so you're talking about that's okay. So the 144 is a number that's still out of every people on this earth, right? Is that what you're saying? It's an exclusive number, but it's not. A. Right, right, right. Okay, so but what I'm asking you is, 144 is an exclusive number, but that's not everybody, right? Because the 144 is a select group that's gonna do a select mission. Correct. Then you have the rest of the people, right? Correct. So my question to you is. The 144, are they every nation on this earth, meaning every other country, every nation outside of the children of Israel? Is that what you're saying? Okay, let's see what the Bible says. Bring it up! Revelation oh. chapter 7 and verse 3. Oh. Say, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, huh. till we have sealed the servants of our God so, in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. So now you're gonna hear the number of them which were sealed, right? Read it and then, and there were sealed a hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. The children of Israel. Yeah. The hundred forty-four are all the children of Israel. Yeah. That's why we must come out. That's why we must come out to give the sense of what the Bible is talking about. It's about a time you stop following the religion that these oppressive people give you. That's what the Bible says. Give me John 1 and 1. Bring it out. Book of James, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. James, a servant of God huh? and of the Lord Jesus Christ. James was a servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Can James lie? No, he cannot lie, right? Because that would be a sin. All right, read. I'm not saying that. So, so I'm, I'm making a point by saying that. Read. 
James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Sorry. James was written to the twelve tribes who were scattered abroad. Go to Deuteronomy 20, 28, 64. Read it out. Because you're going to find out the gospel that was being preached was preached to a specific group of people in every nation. Right. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Wow. And the Lord shall scatter them, huh? shall scatter thee among all people. Among all people, read. That's why the gospel had to be preached among all nations, amongst all people, read. From the one end of the earth, uh -huh. even unto the other. Uh -huh. Bring it up. And there thou shalt serve other gods. So he scattered them from one end of the earth unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods. And those gods were the Christianity and, and, and Islam. Right. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 27. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall scatter you uh -huh. among the nations. Uh -huh. And ye shall be left few in number among the heathen. Whether the Lord shall lead you. So guess that's why the gospel has been preached. Uh, now go to Luke uh, 20. Because that's why the gospel has to be preached. Go out. Fought among all the nations. Why? Right? Because the Israelites, God's choice of people, is amongst every nation. That's right. A slave. Serving, serving the, the sentence that God gave them in Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. Luke. Luke 21, verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies. This is because Christ prophesied about the same thing that we just read from the prophets. He prophesied about the destruction of Jerusalem, 70 AD. If you know the history behind that, read. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, huh? then know that the desolation thereof is not. Huh? Then let them which are in Judea flee unto flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And that's where the, the scattering of the nation of Israel started. Now right to that, in Kings 11, uh, Kings um, um, what, 2 and 11, they start talking about the, the separation of the nation of Israel. For the separation of Israel. Because the, 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 the nation of Israel from the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom separated. Where the, the northern kingdom go to idolatry, then they got taken by the Assyrians. It's dispersed them throughout. That's written in the second Ezra after they got out of the captivity. That's right. Then they come to the, this land. That's why we're talking to the so called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, who are God chosen people according to the Bible. That's right. Now, as I made a statement. I said, God is not dealing with every nation. Hey, did I just make this up or does the Bible say so? Give me Joel 2.27. No. This is why I say that. Because everything that we say is not our own opinions. It's coming from the Bible. Right. We have to read the Bible for what it is. We can't make up religion. We can't make up Christianity. We can't make up Seventh-day Adventist because we want to feel good. No. Take, what the, take the Bible for what it says. The Bible right. said the children of Israel must keep God's law. And that's it. Read that. Joel chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it up. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. So God says in the midst of Israel, read. And that I am the Lord your God. So he's the, he's the God of the nation of Israel, read. And none else. What? And none else. No, he's the God of everybody. And none else. Bring it up. God is not the God of every nation on this earth. What? Give me uh, uh, second address. Because we all came from Adam, that's what we will say. We all are, we all are the children of Adam, right? Let's see what the Bible says. It's about time you're gonna learn the Bible how we're supposed to be taught. Teach! Bring it's it time out! That we're not gonna teach that filthy gospel clapping hands and combining in the church. That's what? Right. That day is over. What? It's time you're gonna learn the Bible the way it's written. That's what? Right. It was written too. Bring it out! Read. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. Read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. God made Adam Lord of all creatures, right? After right. these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Huh? Of him come we all. We all came from Adam. All the nation of this earth came from Adam. Right. But are we the same? 
see what the Bible says, read. And the people also who thou hast chosen. So out of all the people that came from Adam, God have a chosen people. Hey. God have a chosen people. And that's what we are here to teach. That the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they are that chosen people. What? They are not black, they are not Negroes, they are not, they are not spits, they are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.